back to man's world of passion. What you all just now saw was a zen corner that is beautifully created in a very simple way at one corner of our home. Now, most of us are of a belief that the concept of Zen actually originated from Japan, but that's not true. We all know that Buddhism has its origin in India. It was actually called as Dhyana in Sanskrit, which means meditation in English. Around 520 CE, Bhaudi Dharma an Indian Buddhist monk uh, who is also popularly known as the father of Zen Buddhism took this form of Buddhism to China where it was popularly called as Chan Buddhism. When Chan crossed the Japan Sea and uh, wanted to take residence in Japan, the Japanese called or pronounced this as Zen and made it their own by blending in the elements of Tosium, which is a nature-based uh, religion that was popular in J Japan at that time and hence Zen's affinity to nature and simplicity. So actually speaking, Zen has no uh, dictionary meaning and even if you see any dictionary, the meaning of Zen also is stated as a form of Buddhism. And hence, Zen plus Buddhism, which evolved and took form in the early 12th century, is popularly called as Zen Buddhism in Japan and across the world. We all know that we are overwhelmed with a lot of stuff a lot of things around us in our life like uh, we carry a lot of negativity in our day-to-day -day life and uh, somewhere we feel or uh, we need to have that calmness and a place where we can sit and relax so the Zen corner would act as an antidote um, for this, uh, all these kind of negativity and a hectic lifestyle um, that we are all living in. It emphasizes on meditation or dhyana uh, as a means of achieving spiritual awareness and uh, connecting to oneself. If we need to elaborate more on this, it uh, basically means to stay calm and uh, feel enlightened, uh, feel less burdened and uh, also to, uh, you know, uh, just set free uh, your worries and, uh, you know, just stay connected and find peace within, um, you know, from inside you from your inner self. There are a few things that you need to take care of or uh, I would say, um, you know, something which is very basic when you want to create a Zen corner. Oh God. <laughs> The number one important thing in that is brightness. It's always best to create a space that is, uh, you know, getting a lot of natural light, at least during the daytimes. It should be, a, you know, less messy or a little uncluttered space. The third very important point is the sitting option. Yes you need to create a sitting space very close to the Zen corner that you're planning to create. It's always best to have a floor sitting option uh, because it, uh, it's the best way where you can actually sit and meditate. The fourth very important point is uh, less is always more or keeping it 
very simple is the most important thing that you need to be taking care of while you create a Zen corner. Zen corner, most of them are of a belief that it has to have a Buddha idol uh, placed in a Zen corner, but that's not true. Uh, we all know that the Zen Buddhism originated from Japan and uh, Japanese do believe a lot in Buddhism and hence the idol of Buddha keeping in a Zen corner must have originated. But you can always go with any idol that you believe in. Having an idol as I said is not a mandatory option but you can always have one um, because you would also feel nice to have a space to meditate and stay connected with the God that you believe in. But whenever you choose an idol, ensure that the idol that you are choosing is in the sitting position. to have a northeast corner of your home but if you don't have the option to create a northeast corner you can always have the space created even in your master bedroom or the kids bedroom where the kids can also meditate that you need to have the space uh, where the surroundings or the wall uh, is actually painted in a very warm or pastel colors these are the basic needs that you need to have as you create a Zen corner but a few more add-ons would always be the best not just a cozy corner and uh, not just an idol that you believe in but also if you can include a few plants around you with a good fragrance of any mild or nice uh, you know uh, scented aroma candles or uh, diffusers would always add to the charm of the space itself for meditation uh, during the night times then you can for fairy lights or any dim light uh, like warm colored lights um, at that corner next to the idol or somewhere on the walls will add to the charm and will give you a very very soothing uh, you know feeling <music> Buddha uh, water fountain uh, you know idol um, my idea was actually to have a water fountain but with Buddha I felt it was always you know um, it, it is such a soothing and uh, uh, I would say a very uh, relaxed feeling when you sit next to an idol which is also in a meditative uh, posture uh, you know, it instantly motivates you. So guys, what more are you waiting for? This is the perfect time to create a Zen corner. It is such a nice feeling when you actually come back home 
um, after you know a very hectic uh, day there and uh, especially the season that's coming up the bright summer hot season when you come back home you need to have a space where you can unwind literally every single day without actually spending too much guys in short what i have tried to tell you or explain to you in this video is that a zen corner can be created in every single home if you watch this video uh, you would uh, definitely you would have seen that uh, i have not done anything too much here it's a very simple setup in fact this was made uh, during the time of my daughter's birthday where i literally had only half an hour uh, to set up this space and uh, i had no option uh, where i could do any diy's or uh, i could purchase uh, any new things uh, to set up the space i did everything in that very little time that i had and actually spent nothing at all do not spend too much for a zen corner but yes you can still have a zen corner with a beautiful and relaxed environment there yourself in your home as well and uh, this space i'm sure will set you free from all the cures that you would have a uh, day in day out in your life and keep all those fuss aside and sit there and feel relaxed as you meditate or probably even as you do your exercise yoga correct <music> thumbs up share it with your loved ones comment below as i said on how you found this video to be and if you've still not subscribed to my channel then it's still not late do subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon to get notifications guys see you all soon in my next video till then you all do take care of yourself and stay at peace and calm and yes Bye-bye.